Welcome to all of you in the third part of the fruit juice processing technology. In this part, you learn sweeter and fruit juice and the RTS beverages. What is the basic difference between sweeter and fruit juice and the RTS beverages? You can see in this table the difference between the main difference is that fruit content in the sweetened fruit juice must require at least 85% of the fruit content of the final juice and in the RTS beverages the fruit content requirement that is at least 10% fruit content that means natural juice containing is only 10% and in the sweetened fruit juice containing 85% of the fruit juice content. The remaining other that is the bricks of the final beverages of both same that is the 10 degree TSS minimum requirement in which the production process the both sweetened fruit juice and the RTS beverages production processing line is same but only the standardization is vary. You can see addition of the sugar syrup for the both are different. You can see sweetened fruit juice they can be produced from the directly fruit pulp juice or the puree concentrated by the dilution method in which addition of the sugar syrup and addition of the permitted additives and finally heat treatment preservation treatment is carried out and the packaging is done what is blended fruit juice blended that means mixing of one or more fruit juices in the proper portion to get the weight balance or the required final flavor and the taste of the product as per our requirement. In this blending process, one or more fruits are selected. It's involving two types, sweetened blended fruit juice or 100% natural blended fruit juice. Involving combination of sweet fruits with addition of acidic, bitter or the sour fruits. The proper combination they are blended as per our requirement for the proper portion we get the blended fruit juice you can see in this example blending of apple juice with the pineapple or lime juice then second one is the blending of grape juice with the lime or orange juice blending of apple juice with the guava or banana juice and the blending of mango juice with the lime or orange juice in this way we can blend it and prepare the sweetened blended fruit juice or the 100% natural blended fruit juice. In this label must require to declare how much percentage of the that added fruit juice percentage of each group. The main steps involving in the production of sweetened apple juice. In the apple juice processing first receiving of the apples during receiving to measure their content bricks to acid ratio maturity on the basis of their size and color they are received and after the receiving pre-processing steps involving in which the washing then sorting reading process then after that high quality of the apples are selected for the extraction of the juice first crushing process different type of the crushers are available in which Apples are directly crushed and after the crushing, the size reduction process. Next one is the mechanical pro pressing process in which basket press or by using hydraulic basket press system, manual or hydraulic system. By using this, the crushed apples containing the fruit juice is extracted and after the extraction, this juice is properly filtered and then we get the apple juice, this apple juice, some of the industry clarification is carried out in which number of the clarification systems are available by addition of the clarifying agents or by the enzymatic hydrolysis to clarify the fruit juice and after the clarifications, the standardization by addition of the sugar syrup and after that thermal treatment by passing into the tubular exchangers and Finally, packaging is carried out by different packaging system that is the aseptic packaging or into the can system or into the glass bottle system. The main steps involving in the production of the pineapple juice that is the sweetened pineapple juice processing line. 
first receiving of the pineapples to receive the properly matured and properly ripe pineapples in order to we get the high percentage of the yield of the final juice with high quality during receiving the check their content acid to bricks ratio in the pre-processing steps involving removing of crown then washing process then sorting process then the peeling after the peeling they are sliced after the slicing next one is the mechanical crushing process size reduction process and after that basket press to extract the juice content in some of the industry by using the mechanical screw press expellers after the extraction of the pineapple juice they clarified and then standardization by addition of the sugar syrup with additives after the proper mixing of the ingredients the next one is the heat treatment sterilization by high temperature short time or ultra high temperature processing and finally packaging the main steps involving in the sweetened mango juice processing industry the first receiving of mango some of the industry unripe mangoes are received and the ripening process is carried out by artificial or natural ripening process for the production of sweetened mango juice select the properly ripe mangoes in which first pre-processing steps involving washing process then sorting trimming peeling cutting and the blanching treatment then after that extraction of the pulp by using the pulper then after the extraction of the pulp this pulp is loaded into the steam jacketed kettle for the standardization process in which the addition of the required quantity of the water and the sugar syrup and the some of the additives in which sugar syrup is prepared into the separate steam jacketed kettle after the preparation they are filtered and added to the mango pulp the standardization as per our requirement that means mango rts minimum requirements 10 degree mix but it is maintained at least 15 percent tss and the 0.3 percent acidity ratio after the standardization of the sweetened mango juice they are passed into the pressure homogenizer for the size reduction process then next pass it into the heat exchangers for the sterilization treatment and then packaging system is carried out then the second part that is the production process of the rts beverages as per the specifications rts beverage that means it's must required to contain at least 10 percent food content of the juice and the final bricks requirement minimum 10 degree and the acidity 0.3 percent it is not required to dilute before serving they are ready to serve beverages in the rts fruit juice beverage minimum requirement of the fruit content for the citrus fruits required not less than 5 percent and remaining other fruits required not less than 10 percent bricks content the main rts beverages involving mango orange lemon lime pear kiwi and the apricots these are the main fruits used for the production of the rts beverages how to produce the rts beverages the main steps involving in the production of the rts beverages the first receiving of the fruits after the receiving pre-processing steps similar to the sweetened fruit juice processing line only difference is that the standardization process that means addition of the sugar syrup in the rts beverages added up to eight to ten times sugar syrup of the quantity of the fruit pulp or the juice in this production process after the extraction of the juice or the pulp they are standardized by addition of the sugar syrup and the some of the additives in this standardization process the sugar syrup is separately prepared and then filtered and mixed into the fruit pulp and the juice then after that dilution they are passed into the pressure homogenizer then after that passed into the heat exchangers properly thermal treatment and then packaging system is carried out these are the references used for the preparation of this powerpoint presentation thank you very much